how can assets be transferred between blockchains? How do they agree on the exchange contract if nobody owns the implementation? Great question, Gabriel. So essentially, the way assets are transferred between blockchains is through a, a very basic smart contract. Uh, and by that, I mean um, as basic that you can also implement it in a very simplified language like Bitcoin script. Um, and these contracts are usually some form of multisig. Um, or some form of Merkle proof um, that allows you to essentially lock value on one blockchain and then release uh, an equivalent amount of value on the other blockchain. And who the two parties who engage in a transfer exchange between two blockchains, this kind of atomic swap uh, between two blockchains, have to agree um, in order to use that technology, and they have to choose which contract to use. There, there can be multiple implementations that transfer value between two blockchains, between sidechains, and you choose which implementation you're going to use. And uh, if it, somebody else is also using that implementation, then you can execute a swap with them. Um, and multi-sig and time delays are parts of smart contracts. In some cases, uh, I don't see why you would implement a smart contract uh, system that didn't at least have the ability to have multiple owners uh, or multiple signatures and um, time delays. So I've never seen a smart contract language that didn't have those. And even Bitcoin, which you most people don't call a smart contracts platform, even Bitcoin Script has the basic ability. So you don't need full smart contracts in order to do uh, lightning payment channels, just the ability to do basic multi-sig and time delays is usually enough. Do the participants of Lightning Network have to set up a smart contract? Um, what I mean by smart contract is basically a, a, a Bitcoin address which has a script inside it, which contains a multi-sig and a timeout and a refund process or a penalty process. And that's used to continuously update the channel. Um, you don't do any of that. Effectively, all of that's done by your Lightning node or your Lightning wallet automatically for you. It looks very similar to a Bitcoin payment. You'll receive a QR code which has a Lightning invoice. You, you tell your wallet to pay that Lightning invoice, and it finds a route within the network uh, through which it can make a series of commitments to transmit a payment to the other party. And that will execute uh, in less than a second in most cases, very, very fast. Your payment will be received at the other end. And um, all of the smart contracts and multi-sig and all of those details are managed by the wallets. It's completely invisible to the user. It just looks to the user, it looks like a, a very, very fast um, Bitcoin transaction that can have very, very small amounts. You can do um, amounts that are even less than a Satoshi uh, in terms of the amount of payment and um, with very, very low fees uh, or sometimes no fees at all. Is Lightning Network a sidechain or a second layer? Um, very good question, Eric. Lightning is not a sidechain. Uh, Lightning is a second layer. What that means is Lightning is a mechanism for, um, for transmitting payments off-chain using an underlying blockchain for security. It allows you to route payments through payment channels, which are smart contracts using multi-sig and time delays. It allows you to essentially transfer for example, Bitcoin between two participants over a payment channel without having to record it on the blockchain. Um, and still, those two participants don't need to trust anything because the underlying Bitcoin security is the basis of trust. Now, because something like Lightning Network can also transfer, um, is, is a multi-currency routed network, you can have nodes that are participating in Lightning that are running Bitcoin, you can have nodes that are participating in Lightning that run Litecoin. Theoretically, you could have nodes that uh, participate in the Lightning network that run Ethereum or whatever else. The requirements for a blockchain to be Lightning compatible, to be able to interact with these routed payment channels, 
are that it has certain fundamental security functions, including the ability to do multi-sig and the ability to do time delays. And together with those two, you can implement uh, what's called a hash time lock contract, which is the building block for uh, payment channels and routed payment channels and Lightning Network. So Lightning Network is absolutely uh, not a side chain. It is a, a second layer. And um, theoretically, you could use it to connect side chains to each other. So you could use, you can today, in fact, transmit a Lightning payment from Bitcoin, and the recipient receives it in Litecoin, uh, which is another blockchain, because both of them are Lightning compatible. So you can effectively, that has made Litecoin and Bitcoin into side chains of each other, with Lightning Network being the smart contract layer that connects them. If sidechains had to be created as a second layer from the original decentralized Bitcoin blockchain, does this mean centralization? Who runs, keeps, maintains, or is incentivized for that regarding sidechains? Great question, Christian. Sidechains aren't a second layer. The technology that connects two blockchains together is kind of a second layer. Not really. These are transactions within each of the blockchains. But sidechains are not really a layer. Um, they're more um, a parallel stack, if you like. You have two stacks that operate side by side. And you're right. Who runs, keeps, maintains, and is incentivized for the security regarding a sidechain? That is the most important question. Unless you can answer that question, you can't really say anything about the security of the sidechain. Uh, and keep in mind, sidechains are not... Um, you know, Sidechain is a, an attribute of a relationship. As to be a sidechain to another blockchain means that one blockchain has the ability to transfer value and, or peg value in and out of another blockchain with some form of atomic swap mechanism. Um, it, it, neither of these is subordinate to the other, and, and you know, the, the term sidechain is often confusing. Bitcoin can be a sidechain to something else. In fact, if something is a sidechain to Bitcoin, then Bitcoin is a sidechain to this other thing. Uh, it simply means a chain on the side. 